You heard of the high tides, but what about king tides? That's what's hitting beaches along the southeast, the powerful tides flooding the Carolinas and Florida. It will come up into uh, these yards right up to those stairs there. That's in South Florida this week, where the streets are swamped despite sunny skies. It's expected to continue through the weekend. On social media, users posting flooded docks and waves slamming a boardwalk. A familiar scene for Lynette Coleman, a Broward County resident who has seen the king tides many times before. You cannot see the difference between the river and the street. King tide isn't exactly a scientific term, but it's used to describe exceptionally high tides, according to NOAA. These tides come around once or twice a year when the sun and moon align to produce a higher than normal gravitational pull. They typically come during a new or full moon or when the moon is at its perigee, the point in its orbit when it's closest to Earth. And when that happens with a full moon, we call it a super moon, which occurred earlier this week, triggering the king tides. As that moon is closer to Earth, its gravitational pull uh, increases. So we see uh, those tides, and in some cases now we're seeing flooding with some of those king tides. They can shut down roads, overwhelm drainage systems, and erode coastlines and produce dangerous rip currents. Like in 2020, when high surfing king tides swept two children out to sea in Oregon. And while exceptionally high tides are predictable, when they coincide with intense weather like a hurricane or nor'easter, it's coastal flooding on steroids. One example, Superstorm Sandy, which devastated the Northeast in 2012, flooding New York City and wiping out coastal communities. That was during a full moon, or what's called a spring tide. It's hard to imagine, but Sandy with a king tide would have been even worse. Climate change also impacting all of this, with sea levels rising. Since 1900, we've had anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of sea level rise. So those highest tides of the year early in the 1900s might not have done a whole lot. But with that 10 to 12 inches of sea level rise, that's enough to cause flooding. In Charleston, for example, since 1970 to now, up 9 inches. The city also preparing for intense flooding this Friday and Saturday. And a growing concern up the East Coast as a nor'easter approaches set to batter the coast this weekend with heavy rain, strong winds on top of the powerful king tides. We thank you for watching and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.